Good morning from Antalya. You'll have to excuse our appearances. My hair is an absolute disaster. But we just got off an overnight bus from Bodrum to Antalya. The bus got into the station at about quarter past six. And I'd say we made it to our hostel by just after seven. If any of you are coming here, you should know that the major bus station, just like in Bodrum, is a little bit outside of the city. So you have to take a bus into the city. It cost us a total of 26 lira, which is just under two Canadian dollars to get here. Yep. I don't know about you. I only got like a few hours of sleep. We ended up coming in. The room wasn't quite ready for us yet. So we've just sorted ourselves out with some coffee and some water and some breakfast and so we're feeling a lot more alive than I think we were about half an hour ago. Yeah and they've stored our bags for us, check-in is at one o'clock and so we're just gonna go wander around and explore the old city. Hadrian's Gate and this is the only part of the city walls that are still standing to this day. The great thing about being here so early is we have it all to ourselves without any other tourists. that we were told about as we did our research on Antalya was this thing called the Broken Minaret Mosque. And so we plugged everything into Google Maps, we've been feverishly searching around for something with a minaret that appears to be broken, and despite us circling multiple mosques with multiple minarets, there is not one that appears to be broken and it turns out that actually what they did in 2019 was started restoring the entire thing. So therefore, we have a lovely old mosque that used to be a Roman temple built in the second century AD that has been perennially damaged by invasions, fires, all of that kind of stuff, but rather than keeping the minaret as the broken monument that it is, they've restored it now. So yeah, no broken minaret for us. There are still cats and dogs here, just lying on the street in public, all pretty well taken care of. They're fed. I don't know what the vet situation is, but they seem pretty happy and not too skinny. I'll tell you what there isn't though. What isn't there? People. It's 8.20 in the morning. Where is everybody? We have the place to ourselves. Crazy. Loving it, look. We are now at Hiderlik Tower. It was built by the Romans in the second century AD. And as you can see by its location, it's where the city walls meet the sea walls. It was also used at one point by the Byzantines as a military outpost, but since then it's just been a fortification and also used as a lighthouse.
wandering around Antalya for about, I'd say, two hours now. And I'm very surprised by how large it was. I think I was expecting it to be more the size of Bodrum. And the other thing that surprises me is how modern it is. There are some historical bits and bobs like what's behind us scattered around the city, but it just seems to have a lot of, I don't know how to describe it other than modern mm -hmm. amenities, whether it be stores or very wide and open parks. Yeah, I'm just surprised, but I like it. It's pretty and it's by the sea. I think the whole town is lovely, but you can definitely tell that this was really built for, well, obviously it wasn't initially built that way, but it's now started to become really sort of the party capital. It seems to really be aimed at tourists, people who want to drink and all of that kind of stuff is literally as you go past like every little thing it's not a restaurant it's a bar it's a club it's a pub and like the first thing that you always see is the shop prices so clearly like while there are some absolutely beautiful kind of old buildings in the old city it seems like the purpose of the old city nowadays is much more focused on um, the tourism aspect of things and it's just dead at the moment like it's yeah. 10 o'clock in the morning it's so quiet. And we pretty much have the city to ourselves. Yeah, we've maybe seen about 40 people in total in the past like three hours, which is kind of crazy. You just thought it would be a bit more lively. But I guess this isn't truly tourist season yet. So I guess that might be why. And it's a Tuesday, so people are at work or not on like weekend mini breaks yet. Yeah, I guess. It's kind of nice having it to ourselves. Yeah, no, it's been um, a very chilled way to go through the city and kind of explore it all at our own pace. It's kind of a shame though at the same time because we're seeing some amazing things, even the stuff behind us, and we don't really have much of a clue as to what we're seeing or much of a context or anything like that. And unfortunately, even Wikipedia and Google aren't always the biggest help, so. No, I looked up a free walking tour and it doesn't exist in Antalya. So we're kind of on our own here, which I do love the days when we move at our own pace. I was saying to Nick earlier how I'm kind of torn because I like getting the history when we do walking tours, but I prefer the pace at which we move yeah. when it's just the two of us. So we've had actually a really good mixture of that on our travels so far, so I'm not mad about it. No, what I'm also not mad about is the fact that at our hostel there is a kitchen and a fridge, so it means that we can actually broaden our horizons on the food front. <gasps> yeah, instead of bread and Nutella, we just went to the grocery store and we were able to pick up some muesli and almond milk some pasta and tomato sauce which means our lunches and dinners for the next few days will be so much more exciting yeah absolutely and we also just got apples and banana because the cookies that you saw earlier were not enough for breakfast they were so delicious but they weren't filling we're just gonna sit here and have a nice snack before we continue walking around yep so crazy to see a market when there are no people. This building is a madrasa, which is an old school, but like Nick was saying, everything that's historical has been incorporated into something new because it's now a cafe. It seems like Antalya has amazing coffee culture because we've walked around the whole city and there are so many coffee houses and two of the highest rated ones are actually within 15 seconds of our hotel and it is killing me because I can't have any of it because it's so expensive. Like an espresso is 40 to 50 Turkish lira, a cappuccino is upwards of 70 lira, and yet we've seen like dinners and koftas for 40 to 70 lira, and it's really hard to justify having a coffee when you could eat a meal for the same price. The hostel people let us in about an hour and 10 minutes early to our room, which is super nice of them. So we've 
just about kind of put our stuff into the right places. And unfortunately, because of that, we didn't really get a lot of sleep on the bus at all. Then we've just been pretty bushed. So we're going to just take a bit of an opportunity to nap and see where the rest of the day goes. Yeah, I feel like I did a lot of dozing on the bus. It wasn't actually that uncomfortable, but I definitely didn't get a full on sleep. And after having explored the city for like upwards of three hours this morning, I could use a rest. Mm-hmm. It's definitely taking its toll. just had lunch or breakfast because it was muesli and milk we're kind of confused about it's, what meal we just had yeah that whole overnight bus lack of sleep i think has completely thrown us out but have you ever been so excited to have had a bowl of cereal before because i don't think i have never it that... was so nice to have a change of bread and nutella <laughs> it really was Oh my word, absolutely divine. I think we got some plans for tomorrow, but I think for today we're just planning on chilling for the rest of it, aren't we? Yeah, the overnight bus and then exploring the old town this morning has kind of taken it out of us. So we're just going to chill, but we'll make sure to show you our pasta dinner, which we're excited about because new flavors and tastes. Woohoo! Oh, again, something as basic as pasta. I'm excited to have it all over again. Didn't you? Budget travel. Good morning. As you can see, we are actually having cereal at a breakfast appropriate time today. I know. The world feels right again. How'd you sleep? I was sleeping okay, and then the call to prayer was a bit louder than I anticipated, and then also we have either one or multiple snorers in our room, so that was fun. Definitely so, enjoyed that. Okay, but better than on the bus. Yes, yes, but I mean, considering the bus experience, that's not difficult. Yeah. Yeah. Today we are heading to the beach. We've arrived to the beach and set ourselves up here. And look at this incredible view that we're gonna have all day while we're here. much better than this seriously <laughs> it's so nice to cool off because it's actually super hot outside so we just like start dripping in sweat as we're lying there yep. and then <sighs> this pulls you off right away exactly it is the perfect temperature mm -hmm. like it's way warmer than in uh bodrum well not way warmer but probably like a few degrees warmer which makes the difference where like you can just stay here all day it's just so perfect We've moved ourselves to a shadier area and we went to a mini market to pick up some lunch. Unfortunately, we didn't come prepared and there wasn't really a supermarket around. So this might not be the healthiest option, but it was kind of all that was available on the cheap. We bought some pre-packaged chocolate croissant, some biscuits that seem to have like a hazelnut filling in them, some nuts that we had left over. And then we also got some extra water to supplement what we've already got. So yeah, let's dig in. And after about five hours, we are pretty much done with our beach day. So we're gonna head back now and probably go by a grocery store and just chill, edit a bit. That's basically it for what we've got planned today. The next couple of days should be pretty exciting. So 
We'll look forward to bringing you some content for that. Until next time though, take care. And keep smiling.